Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in 1937. Japan invades China, beginning the Second Sino-Japanese War. There is considerable fog in the air in Nanking, China, owing to constant bombing. Japanese forces killed many civilians, showing no mercy. Even pupils who tried to hide beneath the heavy bags were tracked down and executed by the Japanese. And there he is, a Westerner named John Miller, a mortician. He too rushes away from the soldiers, and into a pile of dust, attempting to enter a ruined factory. A Japanese soldier comes across him, and jabs his gun's knife into the dust where John is. He continues to look for him as he sees no blood, but John stands up and runs. The soldier stops him and asks him to turn back. But the soldier has no idea that the wall behind him is crumbling, and John waits for it before hiding in a small tunnel, where he encounters two little girls. When John introduces himself in English, he becomes frustrated, because they are unable to understand him. He inquires about the location of the Winchester Cathedral, since he needs to bury Father Engelman. One of the students speaks out, and claims to be from the convent. Chinese soldiers, on the other side, are also safeguarding their people, they hide by employing a sniper, and kill Japanese soldiers who try to chase fleeing Chinese citizens. When the civilians successfully pass by, the Chinese soldiers are left to battle alongside the Japanese, killing each other. When a Japanese tank is destroyed, it kills all the Chinese soldiers, and the Chinese army loses the war. Major Li saves his fellow soldier, Pu Sheng, who has been shot. They take refuge in a structure near the church. At church, John is holding the two girls' hands as they try to enter, because he knows no one can touch them, they are church children. When they walk in, a young boy who also happens to be the caretaker, starts telling John about Father Engelman's death on the church grounds, where there's a large pit with the priest's body spread around. George Chen, the small child, also says that they are the only ones left, as their cook, Gu, ran and saved himself. Because it was the only reason John went there, he feels dissatisfied. George urges him to stay, but he refuses, due to lack of funds. So he examines all sides of the cathedral for the possibility of hidden money, but he comes up empty-handed. He relaxes in the priest's bedroom, and treats himself like a boss. When John and George watch the students crying and praying at the altar, they begin to quarrel and blame each other. They put an end to the continued conflict between the two girls. A swarm of affluent young women gathers outside the cathedral, and forces their way in, because they have a contract with Gu, they are the Chin Wai River prostitutes. George refuses to let them in, explaining Gu is no longer present, but the ladies throw their baggage inside, and climb the wall to get entry. George tries unsuccessfully to stop them. The students and John peer out the window and see the women. John takes a seat at the top window, and flirts with the ladies. The women hide in the cellar at night, loud and gambling. Above, John hands the girls a pile of flour, and tells them that they will have bread when it is almost done baking. The women below knock as they want to go out. They've all gathered in the kitchen. Because George is enraged that the women are drinking the concealed wine, John discovers it as well. John flirts with Yumo, the group leader, since they can communicate in English. Yumo goes upstairs to John's room before the night is up, and John believes they will have fun. He gathers a small sum of money, and hands it to her. But she asks him to assist them in getting out of Nanking, and she means it. John thinks she's joking, so she goes. Major Lee pushes his way into the church, and is led to the cellar by George. Because he is dying, he places Pu Sheng on the bed. He explains that he wants to keep him warm before he dies, because he is the youngest among them, and he is unhappy for him. Major Lee enters a chamber where students are praying. He goes outdoors after leaving the student sneaker he had spotted earlier in the day. Yumo rushes up to Major Lee, and requests his assistance. They are conversing at the altar when the wind suddenly drops, revealing John at the top. When John collapses, he says to Yumo that she might not want to have fun with him because there is a military discount for the soldier, but not for him. Major Lee and John are at odds. The next day, students deny the women access to the restroom. They fight because one of the students is standing at the door. When one of the women becomes enraged, she pulls the student's hair and begins to fight. A student is shot in the neck. They discover the Japanese presence and raid the chapel. All of them begin to flee, the women to the cellar. When the Japanese apprehend the girls, they flee upstairs rather than to the cellar. John tries to hide, but instead chooses to dress up as a priest, and walk outside to yell at the Japanese to stop. The soldiers who are beating and assaulting the girls stop, but one of their leaders removes his katana from his belt, and chops the red cross sign that John is holding. They resume their abuse. When Major Lee, who is outside, notices what is going on inside, he starts shooting them one by one. When the Japanese notice it, 
they rush out to hunt the shooter, but not before Major Lee plants all of the bombs he has left. When the Japanese notice him, he shoots the bombs one by one, killing the majority of the soldiers. The Japanese find him and fire at him, causing him to fall off the building. He had attached himself to a rope with bombs at the end. When he fell, the bombs blow off and kill everyone. Hours later, high-ranking Japanese soldiers visit the chapel, and Colonel Hasegawa speaks with John. He apologizes and explains what has occurred. He provides them with a bag of potatoes, and assures them that they are secure. To prevent this from happening again, the Japanese will defend the church. The colonel finds a piano, and plays a Japanese traditional song called My Home before they leave. John George and the other students bury the two females who had died at the hand of the Japanese. They go inside, and the ladies apologize to the girls, they feel bad because they were the ones in the cellar, instead of the kids, and a young girl died as a result of the struggle earlier in the restroom. When George and John are in the bedroom, George wants John to stay, but he refuses. Before George leaves the room, they argue. However, Pu Sheng awakens, but pale and unable to speak. Do is his piper, and she is the one who looks after him. A Chinese guy dressed as a Japanese interpreter enters the chapel, and approaches Xu, the de facto leader of the schoolgirls. This is Mr. Meng, her father. The girls are observing them as they converse at the altar. He is pressing her to leave Nanking, in order to save themselves, but she refuses. When Xu goes upstairs, her classmates accuse her of being a traitor. When John discovers that Mr. Meng is present, they discuss how he must ensure the safety of his daughter. John asks Mr. Meng to assist them in getting some tools to repair the truck and going outside. Yumo and John converse once more. She shares her experience, describing how she spent six years in a convent, before her stepfather assaulted her when she was 13. And so her career as a prostitute began, serving men. She also claims to have had a crush on a person, but not on John, who has a beard. So following their talk, John shaves his beard to impress her. When Pu Sheng starts talking nonsense, all the women come around him, and mourn for him, knowing he is dying. When John buries his body, Yumo feels they are incomplete, until they discover Do and Lan leave. Do will go grab some strings for her pipa, so she can play something nice for Pu Sheng, Lan will return to their house and get her earrings. Yumo and the other ladies implore John to go out and locate them. So he does his best and goes outside with George, informing the guards that they will be fed. When they are wandering through the city, John comes across his friend Terry, who is fleeing the city. Terry invites him to accompany him, but John is unable to leave, because of the women he left in the church. Do and Lan get what they require. However, as they prepare to return, the Japanese discover them, and begin to mistreat them. They fight back, resulting in their deaths. When John returns to the church, he finds their bodies on the floor, and gives the string and earrings to the women. When Mr. Meng enters his room and hands him the tools he requested, John is frustrated. Mr. Meng also trusts him with the protection of his daughter, Xu. John, thanks and departs. At the altar, the students perform for Colonel Hasegawa, who informs them that he is inviting them to a ceremony the next day. John initially refuses, since he knows they will invite these girls to kill or misuse them there. Colonel Hasegawa is unable to protect the girls, because it is an order from higher up. Before the Japanese leave, they count the 13 girls who are not meant to go, including Mosquito, one of the prostitutes. Shu instructs the other students to leap off the building and kill themselves. However, the women and John are able to stop them, and Yumo declares that they will be replaced instead. The women assemble in the cellar to discuss their choices. Yumo claims they are still alive, thanks to the girls and the nuns, and it is now their turn to repay. It will be easy for them, because it is what they do for a living. Finally, they all agree, and ask John for one more helping hand. The students give the women their uniforms to wear, but they fix them with curtains, as they are too big for them. John and George are repairing the truck, hammering plywood to make a box for the wines they'll be using. Back in the cellar, the women and students are crying to each other, saying their final goodbyes, and making their last wills and testaments. They embrace them, and promise they will be secure. The women begin to sing their traditional song, Chin Wai River View, as if it were their last. Yumo's makeup and hair are done by John, using his skills as a mortician, and they kiss and cuddle. When they return to the cellar, John transforms all of the remaining women, making them appear like schoolgirls. When the women wake up, they are all cheerful, and George counts them, there are only 12 of them. So he gives himself up, and John also builds a wig for him. They smash a piece of glass, and hide the sharp portions in their cloaks, as weapons against the Japanese. The Japanese arrive the next morning, the 13 flowers of Nanking are led away. 
Mr. Meng wills himself to see his daughter, but all he sees are other girls. When Mosquito's turn comes, she informs the guards that she is not a student. Fortunately, the Japanese don't understand her. After they depart, John rushes inside, and the soldier shoots Mr. Meng. John collects all of the pupils in the back of the truck he repaired, lying down, with the wine from the cellar above them. They take off, but are stopped by the Japanese. Fortunately, Mr. Meng granted them a single-person permit. The Japanese investigate their truck, and John offers them a box of wine in exchange for letting him pass. He drives on a deserted highway, heading west, as the girls accompany him on his journey to Nanking. The fate of the 13 flowers remains unknown. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.